So the latest CO2 report isn't out just yet due to the holidays, but we can take a look at retail traders and see exactly where they stand. So in this case, week to week, inner circle as of last uh, Monday morning, outer circle as of today morning. You can see in the case of EURUSD, they've shifted. They were a slight majority long 54%, they're now majority short 60%, and that's because it was a good week for them. Price went up, they were, longs were able to take profit, and shorts initiated to the uh, short side. In the case of the pound, a lot of them shifted towards majority long when we saw that run up towards 135, anticipating further price gains. Since then, ever since it dropped all the way back to down to 129, it's been a bit of a squeeze, a bit of averaging into the long side, but it's moved up to 131 this past week, and that meant that it's, it was a boon for them. Some longs were able to take profit. Heavy long buys has dropped slightly. Safe haven currencies, not much of a movement in USDJPY. It's been a really, really narrow uh, range bound uh, for the past couple of weeks. In the case of USDCHF, the price is moving towards a midterm support level. Shorts are getting out. Longs are initiating a lot, and that's pushing buys towards extreme long territories. In the case of commodity currencies, not a good commodity currency is not a good week for USD CAD, a great week for uh, AUD USD, and that's pushed the buys from 55% long to the middle as longs get enticed into getting out. Whereas gold and silver, longs also were able to book some profit, but you notice that in the case of silver, not much of a change in buys, and that's because a lot of those longs are initiated above current price, and that's the reason why the buy is still at an extreme long 89%. In terms of oil, it's been mostly a, a bull trend channel, so it's been happening slowly, it's been a slow move upwards, and what that's done is it's kind of enticing traders into range trading it, and it's been a lot of it's been towards the short side, averaging in, in that direction, anticipating a move back down. So you can see the heavy short uh, bias rose by about 2%. Uh, last but not least in indices, we've got the Dow, NASDAQ, and DAX, all holding heavy short uh, territories. It's pretty much to the extreme side of the NASDAQ where it's making fresh record highs. Dow, they're also getting slightly squeezed, but some of those shorts are, are starting to close out in the, for the Dow. As for the DAX, not much of a change. It's been pretty range bound over the past few weeks. They were extreme short, but now they're more at a more heavy short, 67% and unchanged for the week. That's it for retail. COT is up next from all this here at IG. Thanks for watching and happy time.